moose if they find out you's a hunting him. So, I'm going to take you up on our trip as I go about hunting this thing. My blood's all pumping and everything else. Is this what it's like to hunt coons with dogs? And all that, I don't know, but anyway, so we're uh, getting to the bank and uh, then we're going to go get an anvil. Happy blacksmith face. <laughs> We're out here on the anvil hunt. Got to keep our energy up. We need to eat some fuds and drink us some go go juice and water. <laughs> uh -huh. We had to stop and get the anvil license, aka the money. Um, and, uh, didn't actually have to go to all the way to the bank, just the ATM locally. Uh, and let's see. Next time you see me, we'll be on the hunting grounds. Hot on the trail of a wily, rusty old boar anvil. Ah, ah, yeah, we're getting close now, baby. I smell... Wild hair anvils. I smell it. We getting a close. Here we go. Oh, there she is. Look, look. It's an anvil in an unnatural environment. It needs to be in the blacksmith shop. There we go. All right, guys. There it is. It's okay, baby. We'll get you home. We'll get you all cleaned up. Regrind some stuff on you. It's not a real, real good anvil, guys. But it's uh it's got the functionality is pretty important it's a great one to be able to refinish and turn around and either keep it and, and let newbies use it or uh, use it as a traveling anvil or maybe even flip it and sell it if i find somebody that really needs a a good anvil to start with um that might be the case but uh, it's a, uh, it's been, it's been abused. <laughs> we'll put it that way. It's been abused a little bit. Um, the tool steel face is originally uh, on here is gone. They have built it up with hard, hard facing welding rod, and it's domed a little bit. So I got absolutely no problem coming in here and and grinding it flat ish and making it work um, but uh, and then reshaping this up a little bit it's got some pot marking and whatnot um, so we'll see what we can do with it and uh, I'm pretty happy with it it feels like it's right in around 125 pound range which is about the same size weight wise as, as my everyday use anvil um, once I get her home, I'll actually put a scale on her and whatnot. I might just be weak from not eating enough. I don't know. Them there wild animal hunts, they, they take a lot out of a man. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we're ready to rock and roll there and get home. I'm not going to worry about tying it down. We're like 10 miles from the house. So, uh, anyway, thanks for coming with me hunting. See y'all.